Time and again, television studios have turned to the big screen to help pad out their weekly offerings. Really, this does make sense, because if a movie is a hit, then you basically have most of your work already done for you. Just buy the TV rights for a well-known movie, hire a proven showrunner, recast the roles with some big-name actors the audience will recognize, and you already have a guarantee that people will tune in out of sheer curiosity. Genius. And you can see this dang ploy in action with successful TV shows right now, based on films like Fargo, Westworld, and What We Do in the Shadows. With so many streaming services debuting every other month, it is no surprise that among many of their production slates, there is the old go-to of turning popular films into series. In fact, there are tons of them coming out far sooner than you'd think, so let's take a look at them, shall we? I am the latest serial installment of Ash from What Culture, and these are 10 movies you didn't know were becoming TV shows. 10. Gremlins The lovable little Mogwai and their fiendish reptilian counterparts are coming back. Hooray! A third entry in the Gremlins series that started way back in 1984 has been suffering in development hell for quite some time. But while we're waiting on that, you'll be pleased to hear that Warner Media is forging ahead with plans for an animated series titled Gremlins Secrets of the Mogwai. Color me interested! The series will follow the owner of the novelty shop from the first film, which is Mr. Wing, only the story will go back to when Mr. Wing was just 10 years old and first came into contact with the Mogwai. Set in 1920s China, it promises to expand the world of the Mogwai and introduce new creatures, some of which hark back to ancient Chinese folklore. The animated series will be available on Warner Media's new streaming service, HBO Max, which launches in May, so not that long to wait, guys! Ooh, exciting! 9. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest Damn, Ryan Murphy and his muse Sarah Paulson are up at it again with the crazy projects. The American Horror Story duo are teaming up to bring back to life the Academy Award winning film based on the novel by Ken Kesey, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Titled Nurse Ratched, Paulson will be in the titular role as the villainous nurse overseeing a ward of mental patients. The series will take place before the events of Cuckoo, depicting a younger version of the nurse, no doubt showing a fall from grace character arc not unlike Breaking Bad. This being the American Horror Story and American Crime Story team, do not be surprised if the series takes a more horror-slanted approach than the original dramatic film. The series has already been picked up for two seasons by Netflix. 8. I Know What You Did Last Summer James Wan, director of Aquaman, The Conjuring, and of course, the first Saw movie, and beloved to all with any fondness for horror in the slightest, is preparing a serialized version of the 90s classic, I Know What You Did Last Summer. The Amazon Prime series is being described as a young adult horror series, in the same vein as the hit shows like Riverdale and Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, which feels pretty accurate for the source material, really. The original 1997 film saw Jennifer Love Hewitt, Freddie Prince Jr., Sarah Michelle Gellar, and Ryan Philippe stalked by an unknown killer who witnessed the four teenagers accidentally murder someone and then try to cover it up. Hmm. A year after the incident, they each received notes from someone who knows what they did during that special season that comes between spring and autumn. This time around, the stalker will most likely be using social media to threaten the teens instead of the creepy handwritten notes he used in the 90s version. It's just Gossip Girl with way more blood at this point. 7. Child's Play After the success of the Child's Play remake in 2019, the horror franchise about a wise-cracking murderous doll may be here to stay as if it ever went away. Fans of the series will note that the original run of the film's most recent entry was released just back in 2017. So, what's going on with that storyline? Well, because of some language in the copyrights, Orion Pictures and the creator of the series, Don Mancini, own different aspects of the Chucky character. This means we will soon have two versions of Chucky running simultaneously. Mancini is looking to continue his own series, but moving from Blu-ray and on-demand releases to a weekly television series instead. Mancini promises it will get back to the more serious tone of the first two films before the series veered towards camp in later installments, such as Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky. Original voice actor Brad Dourif is also back, very excitingly. The series, being titled Chucky, if you couldn't have guessed, is slated to run on the Sci-Fi Network sometime in 2020. 6. High Fidelity This Hulu series is an update on the 2000 John Cusack film that was itself an adaptation of the popular novel by Nick Hornby. Zoe Kravitz steps into the role of Rob, a record store owner in the Crown Heights neighborhood of Brooklyn, which is an absolutely appropriate setting. Having just been dumped, Rob will be taking a look back at all of her past relationships with neuroses, 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 set all the way up to 11. Fans of the original will be glad to see from the trailer just how much Kravitz seems to be channeling the character the same way Cusack did in the original, whilst putting her own spin on it. 
Rob still narrates directly into the camera, she still smokes cigarettes, and she even has that same jaded and exhausted look that Cusack had throughout the original film. High Fidelity was originally supposed to appear on Disney+, Plus, but then it hopped over to Hulu, which may be a sign that its content was too adult for Disney's family-friendly streaming platform. Ooh. So get your friends together, put on your favourite grungy sweaters, and bust out those lists of favourite pop culture things in esoteric subgenres. The series begins appropriately on Singles Awareness Day 2020, otherwise known as Valentine's Day. 5. Time Bandits Terry Gilliam's first film outside of Monty Python was the beloved 1980s fantasy film about a boy who goes on a time-hopping adventure with six dwarves he discovers living in his closet. The film was a rollicking good time, with cameos from the likes of Ian Holm, John Cleese, and Sean Connery. Gilliam has been protective of the property for many years, but it seems like Apple Plus now may be the studio to bring the fantasy back to life. Gilliam is expected to executive produce and have a hands-off role as more of a consultant for whoever takes over the reins. Last summer it was announced that Apple landed Thor Ragnarok and Jojo Rabbit director Taika Waititi to write and direct the pilot, but not much else has been said about the project since then. So, holding out for it, holding out for it at the moment. 4. The Lost Boys Veronica Mars creator Rob Thomas is in the process of making the 1987 vampire classic into a series for The CW. The original saw a single mother and her two sons move to the quirky Southern California beach town called Santa Carla, where a gang of damn vampires make their home. Director Joel Schumacher's original was an instant hit, and to this day is celebrated for its hybridity of horror and over-the-top campy humour. Thomas's series will follow the same basic premise and still be set in the beach town of Santa Carla, where all of the damn vampires reside. Rumours are that the series will introduce good vampires who will ally with the humans instead of the original film in which all vampires were bad. So we'll have some Buffy the Vampire Slayer and True Blood vibes with our human protagonists trying to decide which of the vampires they can really trust. Also expect some gender swapping of the original's characters. Supposedly, there are two local vampire experts who used a comic book store as their base of operations, known as the Frog Brothers, will now be the Frog Sisters instead. A pilot has already been shot, so you can expect this series to premiere on The CW in summer or fall of 2020. 3. John Wick this entry is more in the spin-off category, as the planned series will take place within the same universe as the Keanu Reeves shoot-em-ups, but will not be focusing on any of the characters from the films aside from some rumoured cameo appearances. The creative team behind the films will be overseeing the series, which will centre around the Continental, the Manhattan Hotel, which acts as a neutral zone for members of the criminal underworld. Not much is known about the series, but rumours have gone around the internet suggesting that it will be a prequel, will feature an all-new set of characters, and will delve deeper into how all of the criminal syndicates came to be interconnected. The series is expected to have eight episode seasons, and will no doubt treat fans to the same kind of manic action set pieces they've come to enjoy from the franchise. Debuting on Stars, it should premiere shortly after John Wick 4 in the summer of 2021. 2. Nightbreed This is the brain-scratching entry for this list. The 1990 fantasy horror hybrid, directed by novelist Clive Barker, is a cult gem that follows Aaron Boone, a mental patient who is actually a monster. He has dreams of an underground city where monsters like him have gone to hide from persecution by the humans who hate and fear them. Boone's doctor in the mental ward is trying to convince him that he is a serial killer, but that doctor has ulterior motives of his own. Oh, and that doctor is played by none other than acclaimed director David Cronenberg, just to throw the cherry on the cake. What makes this entry on the list so bizarre is that the film was a commercial failure back when it came out. Barker cited studio involvement ruining his vision for the film, which was supposed to have more of a social commentary slant than be straight on slasher horror. A director's cut was released in 2014, and now there are plans for a series picking up where the film left off. Josh Stolberg, who wrote Piranha 3D, and Jigsaw will be showrunner, with Barker serving as consultant. 1. The Talented Mr. Ripley Andrew Scott is on a career high following his turn as Hot Priest on Fleabag. Scott is set to star as identity-thieving sociopath Mr. Ripley, which won't be too far off from his Moriarty character on Sherlock. The series is based on the popular 1999 film starring Matt Damon in the titular role, including the dream cast of Duke Law, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Philip Seymour Hoffman. The show is said to follow the events of the 1999 film in the first season, and then hopefully extend out to stories later in the series, as there are four more novels written by author Patricia Highsmith. Many fans of the books were disappointed when a sequel was never made because there is so much more to the character to explore. Think Hannibal Lecter-level intelligence, only instead of eating people, he kills members of the aristocracy and takes over their identities, all set in the mid-20th century. Steven Zalian will write and direct all eight episodes in the limited series' first season. They're expected to premiere on Showtime in the fall of 2020. There's no word yet on other cast members, but you can expect some pretty noteworthy stars to be attached to this very soon as production starts ramping up. 
Really, hot priest is all we need though, so let's not ask too many questions. And that's our list. Which adapted TV show are you most excited for? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. I've been Ash and this has been What Culture. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and come back again soon for some more crossover content. Thanks for watching.